Good day. Welcome to King Williams Everything. We got an update on the cocktail table that I'm building. It's been quite a while since I've done an update or any work on it. Now that it's cold in winter in December, let's work on it. We got to finish the project. We have to finish projects. But anyway, you may or may not have seen this, but this is the JAMA board. And this is a, I think it's a 60 in one, something like that. But since we're doing a Miss Pac-Man cocktail table, we want Miss Pac-Man. And that's what this has. But since it can do other things, might as well play the other games. I mean, you can set this to just do one game. So let's say you have an official uh, Miss Pac-Man stand-up table or cocktail. You can set this one game and just replace your Pac-Man board that died and go that way. But we want to play all the games. So I'll kind of just kind of show you. Uh, these sell all over the place on so Amazon, eBay. And the prices are all over the place from 30 to like 100 bucks. It just depends on where you get it from. If you get it from trying to get it cheap, you can find these on, Am or, um, I believe, Amazon and eBay for, let's say, 40 bucks, just to be safe. Maybe 50 bucks. Not a bad deal. And some of the games are, if you look up 60 and 1, you'll find them. But uh, you can kind of see here, you know, you got your Miss Pac Man, Galaga, Galaxian, Dig Dug. Uh, Space Invaders, all the classics, all the kind of like the original games, uh, Gyrus, uh, Junior Pac-Man, Arkanoid, uh, Space Panic, Mr. Do, uh, let's see anything other, Exciting Scramble, Emidar, uh, 1943, Jumping Jack, uh, oh there's Zevius on here, where's Zevius at? That was my favorite game, Congo Bongo. I think Congo Bongo, didn't you need a trackball? So you can put a track, you can hook a trackball up to this too. I'm not going to do that, I want simple. Uh, oh, Zaxxon. Zevius. I know it's in here. Anyway, Zevius is in here, that was my favorite game. But you can kind of see if you look through the manual, it tells you how to do all the uh, software switches so you can set up the, the dip switches in software. So extra lives, bonuses, when those happen, uh, depending on the game. Uh, so there's a lot of that good stuff in here, so you can fine-tune how you like your stuff. And that's kind of like the second half of the manual, so it's pretty pretty easy. Then it gives you here kind of like the uh, uh, high hook of the trackball. Uh, and some other dip switch settings, demo music, that kind of thing. So you can set the, the demo screen. But what's kind of cool about this, you can do through um, uh, your JAMA harness, your video. Or you can you can set up some trackballs, those kind of things, some extra things, and it does VGA. That's cool. And you can power through your jam harness. Or let's see, I thought that you can power through. I think this is audio. Uh, I thought you could power it through a plug. Maybe not this one. Maybe it's just a jam harness, which is fine. But VGA, that's the way we're gonna go because we're gonna do an LCD panel. So we're doing a Miss Pac-Man replica. Kind of replica, so it's going to have an LCD panel, some more modern stuff. So it's going to look like it, be pretty close. The construction is going to be a little different, but first glance, just like it. So that's what this is for. And some other parts that I have. So we have pretty much everything we have to build it. So this is just kind of go over some of the pieces and parts. We have a little amp, a little cheap amp. Uh, the board has an amp on it, but we want to use our own little amp so we can control uh, with the volume knob, that kind of stuff. That's what this is. I don't know where it's at. It's not in the box, but it's somewhere out there. Your handles. Handles for the cabinet. So you put these inside your cabinet like that. And then if you need a couple of people to pick it up, you know, you can, one person on each side. Uh, two people can pick it up and move it around. It's on wheels, but say, let's say, to move it up and down, say a flight of stairs, you want some, some, some to do that. So that's what this is for. There's a bunch of these somewhere. Uh, here's another one. Two of those. I think there's just four of them. Uh, some cooling fans, which we really don't need too much, but we're gonna have the LCD and the board, so we want to kind of keep uh, some air flowing and the power supply. So this doesn't run really fast, but uh, this is a LED fan, and I think this is red. So when it powers up, it's red. So the kind of theme is like a pumpkin spice color. T molding. Uh, the graphic art has some of a pumpkin spicy color. So it's kind of an orangish with uh, wood grain and black. So that's kind of the theme. Oh, we got the grates for the power or the fans. Um, speakers. I'm thinking these may have been the ones I used on the original cabinet, the stand-up cabinet. 
they're fa fairly inexpensive. Instead of Bose, it's Boss. But these are really good speakers. Uh, for the price, you can't go wrong. Chaos X, X Extreme, Extreme Series, Series, 300 watts. So the little amp has, I don't know how many watts. It says here somewhere. I don't know. Whatever it was. It wasn't a whole lot, but it was better than the board. So that is going to drive these. <clears throat> and it's uh, mono, so it's not stereo, but there'll be two speakers with the same audio coming out. So that's a kind of a neat thing to have. And they, they'll look nice on once they're mounted because it has a neat little uh, red. So it's kind of like the orangey theme. And the best part, these are some reproduction control panels for a Miss Pac-Man cocktail. So when it's mounted, get that, and then it has several holes. It has uh, player one, player two, and these are the volcano lit switches or lit, lit buttons. So those are the volcanoes, the little ones. I got some reproduction of those. We have a, a but fire button one and two, which I'm going to cut out, and then the joystick. So there's no trackball on this. It's all joystick, and that kind of goes with the Miss Pac-Man theme. So these are nice. I got a set of these. And the artwork, I think I got on uh, eBay. Somebody was printing these out, fairly inexpensive, maybe five bucks for this overlay. And it's a pretty nice job. It's got like Donkey Kong and this, is this Galaga? This Galaga. But um, so it's got a couple little logos. I really don't care about the logo. I just wanted a nice overlay. I could probably make something of my own and have it printed out, but somebody already did the work, so why not? And it's going to look really nice. So it gives you kind of a little protection. And these are really, really heavy duty steel. And they're powder coated, so there's there's a set of these. And kind of what's neat about this um, <clears throat> uh, board is, put this over here. Um, in cocktail table mode, you can put this in just like a stand-up mode or a cocktail. Put it in a cocktail table mode. What'll happen is, say I'm sitting here and you're sitting here. I play, and player two comes up, takes the screen, flips it. So um, it kind of makes it it's set. There is some a cocktail settings for this, so that's kind of cool. If it's a two-player game, so. You know, we don't have to get up and down. We can just, it just flips by itself. So it's kind of cool. So they did a nice job on this. Now I'll have to do, uh, plug this in and give you a review maybe before we uh, put in the cabinet because I'd like to play with this a little bit. Um, so it does go, let's see, yeah, vertical. The uh, display is vertical, so it flips it. But, so I'll have to take a monitor and stand it on the long way. So that's how this works, just like the arcade vertical. You can get horizontal ones of these two. I think you can maybe set this in horizontal mode in the software, but we're not going to do that. But anyway, that's kind of a, like a little quick look see at some of the pieces that we have here. We have all the parts somewhere. So we're going to start pulling them out, getting them ready. So when we finally get to the point where we can mount this, mount these, mount that, mount that, we'll have some nice, nice videos. So anyway, that's kind of just an update, just showing some pieces and parts. I think the next video, maybe uh, we'll do some more construction on it. We got like the base done. Um, the sides are cut. I think it's some laminating we need to do. Laminate the uh, 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 wood grain laminate on there so it looks like it's wood grain. And then assembly. So we're getting pretty close to getting to use this stuff. So anyway, until next time, have a great day.